Hi green lovers! Well, for those of you that watched my video on my beautiful seven-tier leaf green stock vertical planter, well, here it is, and guess what? It has got a new buddy. This is a five-tier original, and the difference between the two is that that one, the seven-tier leaf, has a depth of seven inches, and this one has a depth of 10 inches. So technically you can grow a lot bigger plants in this one compared to that one. That one is for shallow rooted plants, but gosh guys, isn't it doing so beautifully? Look at my marigolds. They're just absolutely exploding. And my strawberries, look here. Oh. So many beautiful strawberries coming along. I'm going to eventually fill up this entire planter with strawberries. But for now, I'm just enjoying growing all kinds of different plants. That there, beautiful red Merlot lettuce. And I've also got some iceberg lettuce. And I've been harvesting this and eating it and eating it non-stop. Let's go up to the top tier. I've got some gorgeous lemon thyme. And this is a dwarf, actually it's a micro tomato called the orange hat tomato. So this gets only about six inches tall and so it can be grown in this leaf planter. So I'm going to see how it does. I also scooched in a pepper plant here. This is a blue Christmas pepper plant and I don't know how it's going to do but we will see. So yeah, you know, some parsley at the bottom, some cilantro that has bolted. Just in general, I have been loving this planter. And so you can't blame me if I went ahead and got one more. And I've got a variety of plants that I am going to be planting in this one, which are all going to be kind of bigger than the ones that I've grown in the leaf. It's mostly going to be about peppers. The nice thing about peppers is even though they can grow really big under the right circumstances, you can actually keep them pretty small by giving them less space to grow. This one here is a jigsaw pepper and it is not a very tall pepper, but the others, I'm not sure. I'm growing a lot of these for the first time, so we're going to see how they do. And I've also got some, whoops, I've also got some okra this is called baby baba okra it's a patio variety so it should do well i hope i've got some eggplant this here is called little prince which is also a patio eggplant it produces these tiny little eggplants and lots of them so i use that a lot in my indian cooking and this one i'm going to be growing for the first time apparently it doesn't get too large it's called melanzana rossi de rotunda or something like that but it's an orange eggplant folks so interested to see how that does these over here oh, i keep kicking my plants down these over here are dwarf tomatoes this one here i grew from seed that i saved it's called geranium kiss and this one is called ferdo kofi i grew it last year and i did a whole video on that i'll actually put a link to that video at the end of this one so you can see uh, what i'm talking about i'm also going to grow some coleus now i started this coleus from seed it got kind of eaten and you know so anyway i'm going to be putting it in this planter just to sort of intersperse it with the peppers because i i'm thinking that six peppers in one of these might be a little bit of overkill so i'll try and intersperse the peppers with things like this that i know are not going to get that big so let's see how it does let's go ahead and get it planted up yeah i filled this up with potting soil, some pro mix mixed in with some of my homemade compost, some vermi compost. I threw in a little extra perlite. The soil needs to be super light and it needs to be filled up all the way to the top because it is going to compact a little bit. So let's see how it does. Obviously I did something right with that planter. It's doing really, really well. So I'm trying to repeat my success with this planter. So the first thing I'm going to do is water the soil in properly. Now they advise that you water it only after you stack it because it does tend to get really, really heavy. So I'm going to water this in nicely and then I'm going to plant and I'm going to do it one level at a time. Okay, so now that we've got it watered in, let's plant our very first plants in my five-tier original green stock. 
Now what they advise is that you plant plants that are taller in the lower tiers and so I'm going to be planting a couple of dwarf tomatoes and I'm also going to be planting some of my baby baba okra. Now that is a patio okra, I've never grown it before but okra tends to like to grow those tall kind of stems from which the okra comes out from. So I'm going to assume that this okra would like to grow tall and so I'm going to be planting four baby baba okras and I'm going to be planting two dwarf tomato plants. One thing that you shouldn't forget to do is label your plants. Now I like to use this painter's tape. It's easy to remove, it's easy to stick on and it works really well. So I just use a sharpie marker and I write on this and I've got geranium kiss, Verdo Kofi, Baby Baba Okra, Baby Baba Okra, Little Prince Eggplant, and Little Prince Eggplant. So that's what I'm going to be planting on my bottom tier. And I'm going to be planting the tomatoes on opposite sides, just because, you know, their roots like to get kind of big. Okay, let's go ahead and plant them up. This is my geranium kiss. Now, it is pretty root bound. But as I mentioned in a previous video, root bound doesn't mean anything for tomatoes. They'll do just fine. They don't get stunted. You just need to loosen up the roots a little bit. And you do need to plant it kind of at an angle. At least that's what I like to do. I don't know whether it's necessary, but it feels like that makes sense to me. There we go. So kind of get it pointed in the right direction, if you will, right from the get go. I am making a mess. I should have done this over a tarp, but that's okay. I will clean up afterward. I'm a messy gardener and I'm okay with that. So let's go ahead and do the other one. Now this one tends to grow just a little bit bigger than the geranium kiss, but it's also a dwarf tomato. If you want to read more about dwarf tomatoes and how they came about, look up the dwarf tomato project net I believe I'll put a link below I don't quite remember the website but it's this cross-continental project to grow full-size indeterminate tomatoes but of dwarf size so tomatoes are full-size but the plants are dwarf size and they are indeterminate too how cool is that and just like that my first two plants are planted up Let's go ahead and do the rest. Now in between each tier are these saucers, these drip saucers, and if you look closely, you can see six holes. Now those six holes need to line up to each of the petals of these, and each of the petals also has a hole underneath at the bottom. So the plants get watered from the top to the bottom, it kind of drains through the holes into the next tier, and also the middle gets watered by this. It's a pretty ingenious design and definitely patented by the Greenstock family. Get that in nice and firm, and now let's put on the next level. Oof, okay, this is gonna to be tough, but if you see these notches at the bottom, these need to lock into the petals. Well, I can show you this. Let me pick up the camera. But these notches lock in with the kind of claw that comes from the top. Okay, nice and firm. Let's plant up this tier. Here, I'm going to be starting up my peppers. So I'm going to be planting three pepper plants. And I'm going to intersperse them with some coleus. So in this one, I'm planting a beaver dam pepper. A friend of mine gave it to me, and gosh, the size of the pepper was, I guess, bigger than his hand. So let's get that in. Again, angling it. Remove a couple of the bottom leaves and tuck them in as worm food. This one's already getting buds, so it's ready. And here I'm planting a serrano. 
All these I grew from seed. I'm so proud of myself. It's not root bound at all, which is kind of interesting. And the last one is an Aji lemon. This is plenty root bound. So loosen this up and it should recover and do just fine. I'll pull off some of the bottom leaves. Bury it just a little deeper. Now the peppers, you don't bury them as deep as you do tomatoes. They are not as aggressive at putting roots along the stem. They do some, but not very much. So you pretty much want to bury them at the root ball level. And these are going to turn upward as soon as they get to see where the sun is coming from, they will angle themselves in the right direction. It's called phototropism. Okay, let's go ahead and plant up the coleus. Of course I'm making a big mess. I'm gonna plant two coleus plants per pocket. Okay, my second tier is all planted up. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these off camera. I'm not going to fill up every pocket, obviously, but I want to see how these do. And then I will start adding more plants. Okay, folks, it is all planted up and this is what it looks like. Yeah, I know it doesn't look like very much, but in no time at all, you know what happens, something like that. Now I've not yet planted out the top planter but I'm saving six spots for some deserving plants. So do follow along with my channel, folks, to see how the Greenstock Tower develops over the course of the season. And if you wanna see how I planted out this Greenstock right next to me and how quickly it grew, I will put a link to the video right here. And I'll also put a link to some of the other videos that I referenced in this in the description below. Thank you for hanging out with me folks and until next time, live green and love your greens.